All right, we are back for round number two, and we lost the die roll, and our opponent is mulliganing to six, and our hand actually looks pretty good here. So we have uh, turn one, we can play Springleaf Drum, Ornithopter, Signal Pest, and then turn two, we can cast Master of Ethereum. Uh, seems like a pretty strong start, and then we have a Blink Moth Nexus. Uh, two Glimmer Voids are probably worse than like other lands at this point, but um, that's fine. This is definitely going to be a keep, so uh, we'll see what our opponent does. And our opponent keeps six. And shocks on a steam vents. And Serum Visions. Okay, so probably like twin if I do if I had to guess. Maybe Delver of some kind. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and bottomed let's see. Bottomed one, and I guess deciding on the other card. Bottomed both. Okay. Steel Overseer, that's a sweet one. Alright, so let's play a Blink Moth. Uh, cast a Drum. Cast an Ornithopter. And then cast a Signal Pest. And let's see what our opponent. Scour. Ooh, Storm. Okay. Interesting. All right, so what's the fastest clock? Is it Master or Steel Overseer? Master, it's probably Master of Ethereum. It's a 3-3, three, three. if we play this Dark Steel, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Although if we play the Steel Overseer, we can attack for one this turn. some reason I think it's the Overseer. I'm sure there's a way we can calculate out exactly what's faster. Actually this does let us attack this turn though too. For one. Alright, I'm going to cast the Master. So, on blue. And attack for one. This is probably, f this is probably more damage. Yeah, this, this definitely feels like more damage than playing Seal Overseer. Next turn, we can actually play Overseer, use it with Springleaf Drum to activate Blink Moth as well. So our opponent's going to have to kill us very quickly. As in, next turn. Uh, Edge Champion's just worse than casting Steel Overseer. Oh no, that's not what we wanted to do. I wanted to make this a thing. Tap our overseer to turn that into a creature, and this is this actually a lethal attack? It's pretty close. Okay, our opponent's at three. So if we don't die this turn, our opponent's dead. And even just making a bunch of goblins with uh, empty the warrens isn't going to be good enough against the blink moth. All right, so we just won that game pretty fast. That was a really good draw from us. Uh, let's see, we're playing against storm, so I want relic of progenitus good against their graveyard. I want Wear Terror. Uh, Wear Terror could destroy Pyromancer's Ascension. Uh, I want... don't want Spell Scud or Torpor Orb. I do want Thought Seize and, and Spell Pierce. Uh, what do I not want? Etch Champion, we don't want Etch Champion. It's just too slow. We don't need Welding Jar. Uh, we, don't need, we don't have anything we need to protect. Uh, Galvanic Blast? I kind of like Galv Blast because it can kill... Um, I don't think we want Soul Artifact. It feels too slow. I do want some number of Galvanic Blasts because it can kill uh, Goblin Electromancer, which is actually important. So we'll cut one Galvanic Blast, I guess. Yeah, we'll cut Galvan one Galvanic Blast and we'll go with that. Uh, sometimes I feel like you can probably cut the island in some matchups, but not here because we actually have spell pierce. So I want to I want to have access to the island. Um, and I want to keep the rest of my cards, like including the Memnites, because I just want to be as fast as possible. Uh, be really awkward if you know Goblin Electromancer can block Memnite, but it is what it is. All right. 
he might have like clasms or something. All right, we'll keep this hand. This is actually a pretty decent hand, so. Um, let me draw another thought seize. All right, so I'm gonna play Nexus. Cast a Mem Knight. Cast a Vault Scourge. Well, let's cast a Mox Opal. And if he doesn't do anything, we can Thought Seize him as well. He might kill one of our guys in response to this Mox Opal, just to, like, this might be a Lightning Bolt on Vault Scourge, just so we can't Thought Seize. Now our hand's a little bit slow and awkward here, but uh, without that Vault Scourge. He has another removal spell for Mem Knight, it's actually a, kind of a bad hand. Okay, there's Electromancer, which we're gonna have to Galvanic Blast that guy. All right, Signal Pest was a good draw. That'll turn on our Mox Opal and let us Galvanic Blast that guy. I just want to get this thing dead as fast as possible, not mess around with it. And the next turn we can like, uh, you know, we can thought seize or thought cast depending on what we draw. Like a glimmer void or a uh, spring leaf drum or something would be great. Uh, one card was kept on top of Serum Visions and there's an ascension. Ooh, glimmer void, perfect. Let's thoughts. I, I think I'm just gonna double thought seize. Well, actually, we don't need a double thought seize. Our opponent can't put counters on this Ascension next turn, unless he draws like running Serum Visions or something, which probably won't kill us anyway. So I think we can actually just take the Mana Morphos, leaving a Desperate and a Shivan. And we can actually cast Thought to Cast as well. All right. So our opponent has a Desperate Ritual and a Shivan Reef. All right, so draw. I think I just want to cast, let's see, Thought Seize here again. See what was drawn. Another Desperate Ritual. Huh, it's actually kind of bad that actually lets him put a counter on Ascension, but we'll take a Desperate Ritual. Uh, play a Vault Scourge for two life, Signal Pest. But our opponent might actually be just be dead next turn. This is actually a lot of damage, especially with cranial plating. Uh, I would wager that this is actually a lethal amount of damage next turn. So our opponent kind of has a one turn window here to draw something. Because this is gonna be one, two, Five, eight. This is eight damage plus cranial plating is going to be nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen damage. All right. Well, I think our opponent's still dead, even with that draw. So we just cast a plating, put it on our vault scourge. And I think this is lethal, even with uh, our Memnite getting blocked by Electromancer. Maybe it's not quite lethal. 9, 10, 11. No, it's exactly lethal. Huh, that's pretty sweet. Exactly lethal. Alright, well that was an extremely fast and easy match against uh, Storm. Uh, that's the kind of draws that Affinity can have. So uh, hopefully you guys stick around for the next rounds and hopefully we can continue to uh, cranial, you know, knock out our opponent's cranial with our plating.